Hi guys, Connie here with CFIT Studio and I wanted to catch you up on some workouts that you can do at home in case you're still looking for some ideas. Uh, the one I'm getting ready to show you, um, basically we're trying to get 100 repetitions of these exercises and you can break that down in any increment you want. Um, the hardest would be to try to do one exercise 100 reps straight. Um, maybe you want to do uh, 50 and 50 or 25 four times, 25 times or 10, 10 times. So you can really customize it and uh, it's all body weight. So you don't need any equipment, uh, not even a timer. You just need to count. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to show you those exercises and go through that really fast. I do have a bonus section of extra credit. And that one would be uh, breaking something down from 10 reps to one. And I'll show you those two exercises if you feel like you need a little bit more. So here we go. First thing is plank taps. Plank taps just means we're gonna touch that shoulder. So you're in a high plank on your hand. You're gonna bring one hand to the opposite shoulder. Plank tap, plank tap, plank tap. The idea is to not to let your hips rock side to side. Uh, maybe from this direction, keep it nice and quiet. Okay, again, so the hips aren't moving a whole lot. Then we're going to come up into a Russian twist. Again, pretty, pretty common. Most people know what a Russian twist is just by the term. Feet can be on the floor or off. And just kind of put your hands together and you're going to work from side to side. Russian twist. Back. Nice and long, chest it out. We do not want to see a rounded or cave chest Russian twist. That is an un unideal situation for your spine. Um, then we have reverse curls. So all you need to do is lay down. We're going to try and take those feet up towards the ceiling, right? Straight up and then come down, straight up, come down. If that's a little bit hard, you can bend your knees and actually rock a little bit and come in this direction. I like the control factor, I'm trying to lift up and lower down, but we are doing 100, so pick what works best for you. And then we're going to go right into a bicycle. So we'll bring our legs down, support the head with the hands, elbows wide, and take one elbow towards the knee, the other elbow towards the opposite knee. Now I prefer to keep my elbows wide and actually try to reach behind, okay? I think that gets a little more core activation than if we let those elbows come in, curl the body, and just stay in like that. There's a little more that goes on in the whole torso if you try to keep those elbows wide. So those four exercises, plank taps, Russian twist, reverse curl, bicycle. Your extra credit, okay? So this would be doing 10 reps of these exercises and moving all the way down, alternating exercises. So we're going to sit up in a V once again. You can have your hands here to support it if you want, leaning back, both legs out long. And I call it a rainbow. You're just going to go from one side up over to the other side. You can actually put a target there if you want to. Okay, so that would be 10. Then we'll come into a plank position, but on the arm, uh, forearms. Okay, and I just call this a hip dip where we go side to side, side to side. And then that would be counted in sets, not just one, two, be one, one, two, two. And work all the way down from 10 to one. All right, have some fun with that. See how quickly you can get it done? Go on to something else. Talk to you soon, bye-bye.